I was out, as I mentioned, at the training the other day and uh, wanted to talk to the guy that missed 11 regular season games, but he is the ultimate setup guy on the uh, on the set pieces for the Dynamo. Let's go out uh, to uh, Carl Lewis Track Stadium to talk to Brad Davis. Hey, it's Craig back. Uh, as as uh, we promised, I was almost going to say as we... Uh, you know, we challenged the audience to stay in there with Brad Davis, but you're one of our favorites. I'm really glad you're back. And uh, is this uh, championship stuff getting old now, too? Yeah, I know you, you probably feel guilty you're going to drag some of that Texans TV audience away on Sunday. No, I'm sorry, but I don't feel guilty at all. <laughs> this is uh, this is the best part of the season right here. This is what you work so hard for during the season, and uh, this is uh, this is the accumulation. Uh, you know, for uh, for for me personally, and I know for all the guys, you know, this is uh, this is something you know MLS Cup that a lot of people don't get to even you know take take part in and for us to be able to do it two years in a row two years in a row is uh is is definitely special and we all we all know uh, what it takes to win so hopefully we can uh, it seems as if uh the momentum is built so uh quickly uh, in one respect and in another respect it's been old hat because the dynamo are expected to win you win everything that could go wrong did go wrong you're probably not going to have brian ching for the game on sunday you missed eleven regular season games in super league with knee surgeries and then you had another uh, procedure does this seem like the season's like two years long to you? It's it's definitely been a long season. We've had uh, we've had definitely had a lot of injuries going on this year, but uh, it's just a, a character to the team. You know, we got guys that came in and, and did a great job during the season. You know, I couldn't be any more thankful to the guys uh, for for working so hard this year and, and and giving me the opportunity to get back and even be able to participate. Because if we didn't make the playoffs, I wouldn't have been able to play again. So you know, I'm I'm indebted to them a little bit for that and. You know, just for the rest of the team, with the injuries, the guys that stepped on the field did such a great job. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's character on this team, it, it, it's heart, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can just continue to, uh, to show these qualities. In some respects, uh, these two teams, New England, Houston, similar in many respects to last year, different in a way. They're maybe not going to have the same people available. We know you're not uh, in total. Uh, what do you see when you see uh, New England, or what do you think about Uh <laughs> It's going to be uh, it's going to be two two teams that uh, you know match up really well. It's going to be a, a, a tough fight, as you could see uh, this year. Uh, the games we played, you know, uh, a 1-0 loss here, which was unfortunate, but then a 3-3 draw there, and then MLS Cup last year, where it took extra time and penalty kicks to uh, decide it. So, you know, as is a is a fan, it's going to be a great game, I, I think, and as a player, it's going to be even better. We know that we're going to have to work, you know, as hard as we possibly can to come out with three points and. And hopefully uh, at the end of the day we do and we know we worked as hard as we possibly could and came away with another championship. Two years ago, tremendously unsettled. You move here from San Jose. You don't know what to expect. It's almost like the whole team got traded. Now back-to-back -back championships. And in the last three games at home, you draw in the neighborhood of a total of 90,000 fans. Did you, when you were moving here, think, well, I wonder if this sport's going to catch on in Houston? It, yeah, it's always a question when, when you up and move like that. It was such a sudden move. And uh, when, when we first got down here, we heard a lot of great things about the fans and the support that they have down here in Houston. And, and honestly, we, they have gone above and beyond everything we, we've expected. They've been phenomenal you know, all year, and especially come the playoff times when you really need that extra booth. It's boost. I was, well, it was funny watching the uh, football game last night, honestly, in uh, Seattle's 12th man. You know, that's the first thing that I thought about when, when, they, when they did that. I was like, that's how it's been here in Houston. It's been, it's been amazing. And like I said, they've gone above and beyond. And, you know, hopefully we can get a, a lot of support uh, this weekend in D.C. And, uh, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't be any more thankful to them. Well, we're delighted that you're back. You're at full strength. And the guy that uh, triggers all these set pieces is, uh, is the man. Thanks a lot. Best wishes on Sunday. Thank you.